Here we go, yo. It's that time of year. The holidays are quickly approaching and it's time to open up your wallet so you can procure the perfect gifts for the cycling enthusiasts and bikepacking buddies in your life. Or maybe your friends or significant other is wondering what to get you and you need some ideas for your personal wish list. Well, look no further. I've got you covered with these 10 clever and thoughtful gift ideas that you might not have considered. Hey, Miko. <laughs> Since I'm already talking about opening up your wallet, I guess I'll start with the first gift idea, a bikepacking wallet. I've been using these streamlined wallets from Revelate Designs for years, but unfortunately they discontinued them a while back. I'm not sure why. If I were in the market for a new one today, or I was going to give one to a friend, I'd definitely consider the William Folding House wallet from Oveja Negra in Salida, Colorado. It's minimal and lightweight, and you'll be supporting a homegrown business. Best of all, they stitch the wallets up with leftover scraps of material from bigger bikepacking bags, so each one has its own distinct flavor. Next up is the Apidura Packable Musette. I hope I said that right. I've detailed similar alternatives before, but this one is pretty Gucci, and it's been on my radar since I spied Lachlan Morton using one on the Tour Divide. Something like this is great to have for grocery shopping and resupply items, whether you're at the pointy end of bike pack racing or simply on a leisurely bike tour. You can stock up on provisions and start riding without having to worry about finding room for all of it in your frame bag or other nooks and crannies. The Apidura Musette is ultra light, it's waterproof and boasts a seven liter capacity. It also features a stability strap to keep it from falling off your shoulder while riding, and it compresses down into a tiny integrated pocket when not in use. It's clearly a well thought out and well made piece of kit. This is an or not handlebar bag, and you may like it or not. It makes a worthy gift for any cyclist. It has a 3.1 liter internal capacity, so it might be just enough for an ultralight bikepacking race kit or simply for stashing an extra layer and food on an epic day ride or the commute to work. I know the market is saturated with these types of cylindrical bags, but this one is well thought out, has plenty of features, and it's built to last. It attaches quickly and securely with mini ski straps. It has an internal frame sheet sewn in, so it retains its shape, making it easy to jam items into and remove while you're riding. I also like how the main zipper wraps around a little bit instead of just flat on top. This helps with easier access and getting the bigger items in and out. There's three external mesh pockets and an internal zipper pocket that are great for organizing smaller stuff and stashing trash. And there's also a dedicated phone pocket on the side. Anyhow, as far as handlebar burrito bags go, this is the gold standard. And I just realized it matches my hoodie. How about this ultralight and minimalist insulating layer from Albion? It's called the Burner and it was created for riders to have fast access to some extra warmth while also acting as a wind blocker for your chest and core. I could definitely see this coming in handy as an emergency layer for any cyclist or bikepacker. Especially during freezing, sweaty, high-speed descents or for that little extra insulation when you've got a chill in the morning. And you've got to admit, it's a nicer alternative to using some newspaper or a Tyvek envelope from the post office. Although those are great hacks in a pinch, so I'm definitely not knocking them. The burner is designed to be worn flat against the chest, either behind bib straps or just stuffed under your jersey or other layers. The Pertex outer fabric is windproof and breathable, and the Primaloft gold synthetic insulation does its job even if it gets a bit damp. It scrunches down super tiny into its own pocket and only weighs 21 grams, so it seems like one of those no-brainer pieces of kit that you might as well have at the ready, especially if someone is kind enough to get it for you for Christmas. This is the AS2 Pro Max made by Psych Plus, and it's a mini wireless electronic tire pump that I personally never knew I needed until I got one. And now I use it all the time. It's one of my favorite items on the list because pretty much anybody with a bike will find it useful. You can leave it in the garage or throw it in the car or even stash it in your jersey pocket. When you need to add some air to your tires, it's quick and accurate. Just set your desired pressure on the digital gauge, pop it on, it does its thing, and then it automatically stops when it hits the magic number. They claim it'll inflate tires up to 120 PSI. I wouldn't hold my breath on that, but I've set my mountain bike tires between 20 and 30 PSI, and I'm really surprised at how many top-ups I get before I need to charge it. 
and charging is really easy with the integrated USB-C port. My daughter's home, hi. All right, you go make mac and cheese and I'll finish squirting off this video. Okay. There are lighter versions available, but I think the Pro Max strikes a good balance of size and strength. It fits Presta or Schrader valves with different adapters, and you can even pump up your basketball or football with it. Have a friend or significant other that enjoys journaling while camping or bikepacking? Consider the all-weather pocket pen by Right in the Rain. It's pretty much the ultimate waterproof pen for any adventure. When it's closed, it's only three and a quarter inches long, making it small and portable. Then when it's time to jot down some thoughts or make a sketch, you snap the cap on top and it extends two more inches, making it comfy to write with. Right in the Rain uses a proprietary ink with a pressurized cartridge that won't skip even in extremely wet conditions. You can also write upside down or at any angle and even in temperatures all the way down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you wanna go a step further, I'd make a gift package with a rugged notebook or journal that includes all-weather paper that won't smear when wet. They've got a bunch to choose from, so yeah, check out their website. Let's say you've got a shred packer in your life and they're in desperate need of more carrying capacity on their full suspension bike. Look no further than Tailfin SFM suspension fork mounts. They allow you to mount up to two bottle cages or anything cages of your choice on each fork leg. Most importantly, they're built to last and they won't slip like others I've tried. If you want more info, I dedicated a whole video to a long-term review and deep dive, which you can click on in the description below. But yeah, I definitely recommend both the carbon or metal versions as a bomb-proof storage solution for anybody choosing a full suspension bike for their epic adventures. Another thoughtful gift for any bike packer or cyclist in general is an emergency whistle. I personally use this titanium whistle made by Nightcore and it goes with me on pretty much every adventure. It weighs nothing and you don't even know it's there, so it's definitely worth the extra peace of mind it offers in case things go sideways. If you wind up crashing and falling off the trail somewhere and you're praying someone comes along who can help you, it's definitely better than using all your energy to scream at the top of your lungs. Anyway, it's super loud at 120 decibels, it costs 20 bucks, and is a very considerate gift, in my opinion. Another solid peace of mind item for any adventure cyclist is a high quality, reliable cache battery or power bank. Whether you're on a relaxing overnighter or a multi-day expedition, pretty much everybody needs to charge devices these days, so it's a no-brainer. But not all power banks are trustworthy for the rigors of bikepacking, and I recommend the brand Nightcore. Yes, randomly enough, it is the same company that makes the titanium whistle I just mentioned. Anyway, the batteries come in all shapes and sizes, but my go-to is this 10,000 milliamp hour version with the carbon shell. It packs plenty of punch, but still comes in a slim, lightweight package that's easy to slide in and out of your pocket or a bikepacking bag. And if I need more juice, I'd rather carry two of these than one larger unit. Mine have one USB-A port and one USB-C port to maximize compatibility, but they also offer a version with two USB-C ports if that suits your devices better. And yes, they do have pass-through and trickle charging capability, so you can check those boxes. And at 60 bucks, I think they're priced very competitively too. Maybe your gifty is a hardcore racer or just takes their training and fueling strategies seriously. If so, I'd consider putting together a nutrition gift bundle at the feed. If you have no clue what products they like, or they're very particular, or maybe you just procrastinated and are short on time, you can always grab a digital gift card. If you've never heard of or purchased anything from the feed before, I've been using them for a long time as pretty much a one-stop shopping resource for most of my cycling nutrition needs. You can mix and match your favorite products and flavors from every brand you can think of, and you can try new stuff in single serving sizes without having to commit to a big jar or a multi-pack of something that might wind up grossing you out. Another awesome bonus is they're always offering up different water bottles that you can customize, and they're usually free with purchases over 65 bucks. Ah, these bottles can make a great gift on their own, or in addition to your nutrition gift pack, or you can keep it for yourself, whatever's clever. So what do you think? Did any of these hit the mark for you? Or was this video a complete waste of your time? Well, either way, you made it to the end. So thanks for hanging out. I appreciate your time.
Leave any questions or thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this, please check out some of my other videos and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.